Whoa. Oh, dude, I literally spent like 10 minutes trying to fix this. Dick. Dick. Hey, hey everybody. You can't say that before the music stops. I'm just saying, hey, dude. Intro before the music is done intro. I feel like I hear you more from outside of my headphones than like through my headphones. Now you can say, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Best of Five with Chris and G. Uh, G and Chris? Sure. Whatever. My name is Chris. My name is G. His name is G. Welcome back to another episode of Podcast Guys. Wow. Well, Tower Mimosas, huh? That's our, that's new, in, that's our new intro. How was that again? I don't remember. See, now, let's play, have it recorded, play so that's feedback. good. Play the feedback. My name is Chris. My name is His G. His name is G. Welcome back to another episode of Podcast Guys. Wow. God damn it. So before we did this, we actually had a breakfast about meetings. Yeah, we had a business meeting is, with breakfast. We didn't talk about business tower. whatsoever. We did. We talked about Time. Space Jam too. That was here. Fuck. <laughs> was it even like at the restaurant? Yeah. Also, I had the worst biscuits and gravy ever. I'm not gonna say where because I want you guys to support local. But if you know what I'm talking about when I say the worst biscuits and gravy, yeah, yeah. mine was fine. Holla he just picks boy. bad menu items. I don't know what to tell him. I like I like mixing it up, man. You know, like, I like Mexican it up. That's why I got the rancheros. What well, rancheros are not Mexican? Uh, they're both Spanish words. Oh, okay. It doesn't make them Mexican. They might be like from Honduras for all I know. It's true. Every ranchero I've known has been a... Yeah. They got they got ranchos in fucking Guatemala. Yeah, but they also have more ranchos and... <laughs> you can't even say... You can't even roll your R, you little I dick. I can totally roll my R. Do Just it. choose not to. You... Ranchos. Nope. See? No, that was totally bitch. rolling my R. No, it's rancheros. Rancheros. Yeah, see, you're just see. Then you do that with your mouth, like you do like the. <laughs> this is what this is what all it's because non-Mexican people do is they'll talk in they'll talk in Spanish and they'll make some like they make this like face. Firstly, your like, Spanish accent is fucking stupid. You're like huevos rancheros. Like you guys I go don't, to so, that I don't accent. Go, huevos rancheros. See, but you make that you that lip. See, I don't right do there. that. I don't actually say that. I say huevos rancheros. Huevos rancheros. Yeah, that's what I fucking said. Nope, it's not. But your your Racist. Mexican accent is fucking stupid. It's firstly, if we can get this out of the way. All right, let's get it out of the way. Mexico has very very many different accents, and this guy was born in Texas. So I let's, was let's born, put that first and first foremost. First of all, I was made in, in Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, and I was born in El Paso. That doesn't mean shit. Yes, it does. It means everything. No, it means you were born in Texas. I was born in El Paso. If you've ever been to El Paso, that shit's just Mexico but nicer. <laughs> because it's in Texas. No, because it's literally across the board. Like, we bring our best. <laughs> yeah. My family's accent sounds nothing like his accent, that he says my accent is they, wrong. They do some, some fucking shit that, like, Alan's family, family does. My family is from Monterrey, Mexico. Monterrey, dude. Come on now. It's not even Monterrey. It's Monterrey. It's Monterrey. It's Monterrey. Monterrey. You're, You're rolling the R too hard. It's Monterrey. It's not Monterrey. You're asking it's the Monterrey. guy who grew up speaking Spanish. Uh, you're asking the guy whose family is from Monterrey. Monterrey. Where the fuck's your family from? We're from Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, and Nasa Durango. Yeah, you're from Chihuahua, so <laughs> shut the fuck up. I fucking hate you so much right My now. family does not say Monterrey. Well, they they're say not, Monterrey. Because they're not. They're, they're from Monterey in Canada, you fuck. Fuck no, you. They're, fuck you. Montreal? Yes. <laughs> That's how you say it in, in Canadian, right? No. All right, let's get this Just bitch started. Get that out of the way. Let's get this, let's get this started. Fake First subject. Mexican. Monterrey. Fuck you. Monterrey. Round one. Oh my goodness. What is the first topic I for this I am so podcast? excited for this, this Episode next topic. 42? 40, yeah, I think yeah. so. Mm. Thank you guys mm. for sticking around. Mm. Shout out to you peeps. Uh, this next subject, you're going to hate it and I'm going to love it. The subject simply is, why does baseball suck? Why does baseball suck? It doesn't. And this, and this is funny because I'm, I'm ironically wearing a Rockies hat. I'm wearing a Bricks beer hat, which but, ironically uh, is where this conversation started. It is what it started out. Yeah. Uh, uh, the whole thing is me saying that baseball is the most boring sport out of all the sports in America. Well, it was you and that other douchebag that was like. Wow. That Tommy, was like. Jesus. It wasn't Tommy. Oh, it wasn't Tommy. No, gotcha. it was definitely wasn't Tommy. It was. I don't even remember his name. He'll be there tonight. I'll call him out. I, okay. Kirk? Greg? He's on the trivia team. Anyway, <laughs> it's from that fucking dude. And he's like, oh, baseball has too many random Oh, I know you're talking stats. about. Yeah. yeah. I'm they like, do bro, have okay. They do have a lot of random sport stats, dude. Has ra- okay, you watch a football game. Yeah, the whole quarterback rating is a fucking literally a bunch of bullshit stats put together to get your quarterback rating. Yeah, but if you're comparing that towards every other random ass fucking stat that baseball has, 
What random stats and do baseball, baseball fucking What sucks, random dude. stats do baseball have? Which random stats do baseball have that no other sport has? Uh, on base, how many steals? That's all relevant. Uh, it's not relevant. How many steals do you have? Yeah, it's not relevant. The, how is the fuck? That's a main part of the game. Errors? How many times you fuck up? That's kind of yeah. that's kind of really oh, terrible. Dropped passes? That's a fucking stat in football. No, it's, yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't help the game out. It's not like oh they scored this many times, but they had this many errors. Like oh that makes sense. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Get the fuck out of here with that because shit, man. Because it it matters because if you hit a ball, yeah, Tell and me. the person gets an error, it doesn't count as a hit. Yeah, it's stupid. It That's count why as a it's hit. relevant. It doesn't count as a hit because it should have been an out, but the person's a dumb fuck and fucked it up. That should that should matter. So that, that's comparing comparing that to drop passes has nothing to do with it. Yeah, because but he also, should have done a good job. But also, not only do they have a ton of random stats, you haven't named also, me a one random stat. I just you haven't told named you. me a single random. That wasn't a random. Ra- I literally is, had a comparative stat. Error is just Compar- random. It's stupid. I had a comparable Anyways, stat. The game is legit between two play, three players, and that's, that's not all true. it is. Yes. That's not true. And every once in a while, that's the not true. Will play. The game is between two players. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, you're right. The pitcher and the batter, and the catcher. The catcher has nothing to do with it. I mean, if the catcher wasn't there, it'd still be majority, the majority, ooh, ooh. mostly the same game. You see how much I got him flared up with this Fuck. one? I'm, I'm so, so, I'm so tilted, dude. I'm so tilted. It's literally the most boring thing to watch if you don't know what's going on. For yeah, one. and it's it's the hardest sport to explain to foreigners, which is just like why yeah, cricket's <laughs> probably the fucking worst. See, actually, he's cricket's so Super easy. He just he just threw it away. See, yeah. Sorry, I dropped my headphones. I'm just gonna put them right over there. That was an angry drop right there for sure. No, they were just and he loves not put things. on correctly. I'm just saying, man. Like it is, it is like you can be the most unathletic person and still be That's like a superstar. That's not there. true. That is yes, not it true. Is. No, it's not. What was it Cabrera that just hit like his like five five hundred at bat or something like that or a five hundred five hundredth home run fifth hundredth? I think he had his yeah five hundredth home run yeah or hit no home that run. Dude, they home would run. never survive in any in a, any other sport. Yeah, because every other sport is meant to fucking make the players broken That's after not true. every single game. He could never play tennis. He could probably play tennis. He could probably play golf because golf is the second most worst sport in the in the in the history of sports in Dude, the U.S. Football is the most boring sport ever because no, it's, not. it's just the same shit over and over. There's like five minutes of and actual yet, play time yet, in four hours, and yet there's more action in that than there is in baseball. That's not true. One hundred percent comparable action in no. There. 100%. We might wait fucking two or three minutes, but you're going to see the coolest shit in 11 seconds, and you will. Oh, it's a 3-2 bat. Dude, did you not oh, wait, see? Oh, wait, wait, it's a 3-2 bat again. Oh, there's another foul. Oh, there's another foul. Oh, did he you tried not to steal base. One of the oh, quickest double foul. plays there's ever in foul. history. Oh, wait. The Rockies just it. did the other day. Oh, no, he's out. Okay, fine. After after 12 minutes, this guy's been at bat. It was a 3-2 count for 12 minutes, and he's just out. That is fucking okay, boring, Okay, you literally bro. skipped so many different scenarios. How can he be at bat with a 3-2 count for 12 minutes and it's just 3-2 count? Yeah, because he That's has fouls how- on fouls on fouls on fouls. And then you have like, oh, the pitcher's looking this way. Oh, he's going to steal base. I'm going to throw it over here because it's tactical. That's it's fucking Literally, there's stupid. no such thing as a 12-minute at bat. The bet. I will bet. Bet at bat. And then hundred percent. And then it's like you have you know you know how boring it is. You have to have a seventh inning stretch because you're like fuck. I need to get up and actually cheer for something. So let me just sing, take me out to the ball game and stretch a little bit because it's been no, fucking you know boring why for seven you know, fucking minutes. You know why there's a seven inning stretch? Why is that? Because there's no actual timer, like in all the other pussy sports, where you're like, oh, we can only play this long because our athletes are this weak. No, because it actually continuously running the whole time instead they're of just not. like they're not though. It's the only sport outfield ready. The only outfield. sport. That needs a timer is soccer because they are continuously running the entire time. Football, they stand around for majority of the time. Okay, I guess hockey. I'll go with hockey that one too. Basketball. Dude, basketball, they're the weakest motherfuckers in any fucking sport. Well, now sport. they are. Get the fuck now out of here. Ba- you can't even talk about basketball in the same league as baseball. Yeah, because it's way better. No, because it's fucking way worse. You should dude. call it the meh league of baseball. <laughs> Meh League Baseball. That's what it's called. It's not even major. It's just minor. It's a minor seventh. You don't even know what the fuck that is. What? A minor seventh. Yeah, it is. Tell me what a minor seventh is. It's a minor with a seventh on it. What's a seventh? It's a seven. What's a seven? It's not a five. It's not a nine. It's a so seven. Like, okay, if I play G minor seven, what's this minor seven? It's more of a transitional chord. What's Anyways. The, what's a G minor seven? Well, you're talking about what's baseball. What's a G minor seven then, G? G minor seven? I can show you on the guitar. Tell me what the notes are. I can't tell you what exactly, the notes are. Exactly, so shut the fuck up. You shut your mouth. I just broke another pen because of you. You broke another pen because you fiddle. Yeah. No, I don't fiddle. But I dabble. You dibble? Dibble. Dabble. Yeah. But no. And also, like, no, let's be fucking, real. Let's dumb. be real. It's legit just two players that matter in that whole thing, and then it that's doesn't fucking true. matter. That's not true. That's true. That's not true. Baseball sucks, and that's all I got to say about that. I'll give you a minute to, to describe as to why it doesn't go. 
it's one of the most strategic sports that nobody understands. Everyone uh, sits chess? there. Chess? Chess isn't a sport. It's Neither a board is game. esports, but we call it esports, don't, don't we? Esports are an actual sport. Yeah, so it's but chess. Electronic sports is hence why the E is in front of it. Chess is a board game. Yeah, it's, it's, it's esports not, is it's legit, just a board game on a fucking screen. No, because by definition, a board game is on a board. Yeah. So one, you're wrong again. So if I play chess, if I play chess on my phone, it's not really a board game. It's based on chess, which is a board game. Yeah, esports. If is not they a sport. play, if they play Call of Duty, baseball is not, not a sport, and esports is not a sport. Suck it. Continue. Dude, baseball is the most strategic sport out of any other sports. Yeah, sure. If you want to be stupid. No, because you, you just don't understand. Soccer is more strate- strategic no, than... Yes, it no, is. Not. Yes, it's not it more is. Strategic. It's not more strategic. It's more athletic. It's more strategic. And I yes, while it might be more boring, it's, it's, it's definitely more physical than any I other sport that you okay, can talk firstly, about. Okay, firstly, firstly... You got... I don't even like soccer, yet I'm not sitting here talking shit on soccer because I understand the complexity of soccer. Yet you're sitting here with a very minimal understanding of what baseball actually is and talking shit on baseball. Yeah, because it's not it sucks. And that's time you guys. Tell us what you think about it. <laughs> Tell us what you think about it. You don't deserve that hat. And uh we'll we'll let you know. Uh, obviously, uh this, She's this fucking gentleman. Wrong. I can't even hear you, so I can actually hear you actually better now. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm sitting right next to you, I mean not hear me. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? Baseball sucks, and it's okay. But go Rockies. I like baseball. But it still sucks. You can't fucking say that. Anyways, on to the next subject. Round two. All right, you ready for the next topic, G? I guess. Why the Dallas Cowboys suck, because fuck you. (sighs) That's not the topic. You're not wrong. We can talk about the first seven minutes if you want. Actually, let's make that the topic. Nope, nope. I'm so down to talk about why I agree with you. This topic is much better. Like, the topic but also, is, before we start the topic, I agree with you. The Cowboys fucking blow. I hate the owner. I hate the fans. But I just, I can't, like, switch. And that's why baseball is better. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the next topic is saying no to things. Saying no to things. Okay. Which I'm a fantastic person at this because I don't like most oh. things. Or, or most people. Yeah. Except for baseball. Which is funny because you actually will say no to baseball games. I'm like, hey, you want to go? He's like, no. Also, scooching yeah, a little bit. Yeah, because you're like... Scoochy, scoochy. See? We, I fucked that go. up because I got too excited last round. Yeah, you did. Saying no to things. I think I, I think I put this one in the hat. 100%. Oh, God. Bro, you, you, you good? No, those mimosas are hitting me hard. Should like, we not, pause and... Not like... Little, should, I, should I pause, throw over my shoulder and give you a little... No, I'm good. Yeah, okay. You yeah, sure? It's going sure? to sound stinky, but... Do you uh, to burp you? No, we, come on. We got to talk right. about this. Saying no to we, things. So, I, I, have, I personally I have a... I can burp you. I'm just saying. No. I'm just saying. No, that's me saying no to things. <laughs> I topical. I, I have a hard time saying no. Mm-hmm. Like when it comes to like getting invited to something or hey, can you play this show? Like there's a lot well, of unless ways. it's me, then you tell me no all the time. Yeah, no, because fuck you. Yeah, it's fine. Baseball lover. Um, but no, I, I think sometimes I think a Why lot of people. Why the fuck in would I want to go to a baseball game with you with that attitude? Cause anyway, we're getting we're getting derailed because we like to drink and have fun. I don't drink at baseball games. You do when you're with me. I don't drink at baseball games. <laughs> do we had like three, four beers? No, that we had game. one beer at the last Anyways. baseball game we went to. I don't drink at baseball games. He does. Anyways, I don't. Um, how do you feel about that? That that aspect of like saying like no, because like, first of all, it comes down to just like if you say no to something, you feel like you're disrespecting the person. Um, no. And sometimes people don't take it, don't can't take it the right way of as to why you're and saying no. And that's not right? my problem. A hundred percent. Yeah. But I think for me, I, it's just hard to understand that right uh there, there was there's a saying okay. by a friend that says you know there, there's magic in the truth and it's like if you don't want to go somewhere if you're honest with people okay. like they can't get mad at you for saying that but at the same time it's like i don't like making people f- feel upset and i think that's why i struggle I with it so much i off that though so that's why like i see what you're saying but i have no relevance on what you're saying so let's say for example um this happens to me a lot when someone someone's you know working for a charity event and they're just like, okay. hey, we would love for you to come in here and play. Um, we can't pay you, but we would love for you to donate your time. And it's for a good cause. It's for a wonderful cause. I have a hard time saying no to that because I understand that it's helping something that's going to benefit society. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, it's like I can't afford, especially after last year, to just do shows for free all the time. Yeah. So, I mean, my generic response to literally any time is like, hey, you want to donate money to charity? I say... I don't donate anything to charity unless I research it first. That's cute. Do you actually do that? Yeah. No, I actually tell people that. No, but do you actually research it? or If I want to donate to that charity, yeah. If I don't, then I'm just like, yeah, I'm not giving you money. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Fuck. 
But see, that but donating as compared to just like actually playing these shows, I think I don't know. Because there's a lot of charities out there that are absolutely fucked. I don't want to throw any out because I don't want to piss off too many people. But there are a lot of military charities out there that everyone supports, but a majority of the money that they raise goes to actually promoting the charity, not helping military actual, families. Yeah. And there are much better military foundations that no one's heard about because for the simple fact that they don't spend their money on marketing like certain ones do. Yeah. They spend their money on actually helping veterans or uh, other people who have been hurt or stuff like that. Well, let's make let's make another practical example. For example, let's say your buddy is trying to move and you like you like want to help but you're just like actually you don't want to help at all you're just like dude yeah this now, is like your fourth move like jesus christ number you know? one reason i don't buy a truck yeah i, 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 I feel like being a truck owner like i can imagine like sometimes it's just so hard to say no but i think it's i think we need to switch something in this world where you have to understand if someone says no it's not because they're being fucking assholes it's just that they're not they don't like you maybe or they're just they're just kind of saying like i just don't want to do it and we should be okay with that like i don't know how many times i've been in a situation where i've said no to something and people get so upset at me. And I'm just like, dude, like, I'm not trying to upset you. I'm just saying, like, I'm not going to spend my Sunday singing at your kid's birthday party when I have things I need to be doing as well. You yeah, know what I real. mean? Or, <laughs> and that's actually just a random example. I'm not really saying anyone out there. I really, I'm not. Um, or like, hey, do you want to play video games? And you're just what? like, no. You like, paused what the fuck? way too long on <laughs> I was letting you finish. I thought there was more. Or like a friend like playing video games. Like, if they're like, no, it's like, Cool. And the problem with it is, is like... Or a friend playing video games, and you're like, hey, you want to play video games? You're like, yeah, we'll play video games, and then they just never respond to you. Hector. Hector. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, there's that aspect of it. Um, I don't know. It's, it just sucks because it's like, which I would rather hear no than not hear a response at all. Yeah. It's it's harder not getting a response because then you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, it's, what did I do wrong? It's more rude and, yeah. to not get a response than for someone to say, like, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I don't know. And I think I think that's why I struggle the, mo the most with it. But at the same time, it's like, as long as you're honest about it, like the person's gonna get mad, it's gonna happen. And also, you you have to be okay with just upsetting people. Yeah, you're never yeah, gonna please them all. Like to, as much as mm. I want to, I know for a fact that I've upset it like four people this week, and upset not on purpose. It? Yes, you just upset it at me right there by saying the word upset it. It's six people, five people. Well, I forgot what count I was at. But I forgot too because I wasn't listening. Oh, nice. Me, dude, that's fucking cool. You're mm -hmm. still mad about me about baseball? Yep, 100%. Good. Fucking sucks. Go Yankees. What? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I was like, whoa. That's actually, gross. they're on a fucking hot streak right now. They might actually make the playoffs. Actually. Anyways. <sighs> uh, Fuck you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a Yankees fan. Or just, yeah, or like getting invited to like a birthday party or like a bridal yeah, party or like a it, wedding. Yeah. I'm just kind of like, dude, like. So, yeah. Yeah, I got much better at this as I've gotten older. But when my daughter was younger, I definitely would just be like, oh, I can't. I don't have a sitter or whatever. I use her as an excuse all the time because I didn't want to do stuff. But now she's fucking old. Yeah, and you have to do things. And I'm just like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> like, I yeah. just move past it. I'm like, it does nah, suck, I'm good. man. Because it's right. like, I know, like, I'm sure there's a lot of, like, I want to hang out with a lot of people and do a lot of things. But at the same time, it's like. Yeah, I don't. I need some me time, baby. Like, mm. I don't know. I'm sorry if I've ever upset at you by saying no. But upset it. God damn it. Stop saying upset it. I'm sure. I'm sorry if I've upset you. That's, that's there the, you go. the that's Spanish the word. in me. You know no, why? it's not the Spanish in you. It's the Spanish in me. Because you grew up poor. Yep. Mm, I don't know it. English because I grew up poor. I knew I knew English. <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to say. I just kept going with it. I knew yeah. English. Anyway, moving on. But yeah, it's just, <laughs> I guess I don't, I don't like upsetting people. So therefore I have a hard, I used to have a hard time saying no, but now it's just kind of like, why, what are they upset about? You saying no because you asked them a genuine question? It's like, yeah. for example, like I'm going to close this off real quick. I had my, my niece is having her quinceanera next year. She asked my nephew from my sister, my other sister, hey, you want to be my chambelan? And he said, I was like, no. Like, without even thinking about it. And she's like, oh, okay. Okay. And like, everyone got mad at him. I'm just like, no, nah, dog. Like, if he doesn't want to do it, like. Yeah, don't make him do it. Fucking don't make him do it. Like, yeah, it's like kind of the same concept as like... And that's done, by the way. If, uh, you have to ask people to be in your wedding, and a lot of people don't say no to that because they're just like, oh, yeah, of course I'll be in your wedding. But they don't realize what that entails most of the time. Like financial strain. Yeah. and I mean, It's not strain it's necessarily, strain. but sometimes it is, depending <laughs> if you grew up poor or not. Yeah. It's but yeah, anyway. Strain. But yeah, it's the same thing. It's like, yeah, a lot of people have like this huge thing they have to do and they ask their friends to come like be a part of their thing. And they're just like, no, I'm good, man. Thanks, though. And I'm sure it's not even because like they don't want to, just like, probably cannot afford to do it or just kind yeah. of like, fuck, like 
I can't take that many days off. I don't know. I don't know. I love being in weddings. Though. Make, I will, I will I, say that right now. That's my favorite no. thing ever is to be, I don't know you, but I will be in your wedding. I'll be an usher. Fucking I'll bet, be a dude. groom. Fucking I'll be a bridesmaid. Bet. I don't even fuck. I'll be your best man in your wedding and give the most killer speech. Let me know. Don't, dude, you guys hear him on this all the time. This speech is going to be shit. Oh, this is improv. Just imagine if I actually wrote it, how yeah, hilarious be it's going to so be. Bad. I'll talk about that time in college Wait, where we're hanging out yo, with, sh- with we, the Delta Kai boys. And then we're just like, should bro, we open up a new business? What? And like rent, rent a groom or like rent a rent a friend? <laughs> yes, dude. We should totally do that. The problem is nobody wants to be your friend, even if they pay you for it. Well, if they're desperate enough for mm. a wedding party. I mean, if it's between the two options. If it's both of us, they're so gonna we're, pick. We're, they're we're, gonna pick the premium package, composed to like economy package over here. Economy, huh? Yeah. Business yeah, class. Coach. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next That's, subject. That was, yeah. Did you say time? I don't know if you said time. I did say time. Time. I did say time. No, okay. On to on. the next subject. Round three. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on to the third subject here. Chris, what's the third subject? I don't know. You fucking picked it up. It is male celebrity crushes. Am I supposed to say that male now? Male celebrity you... crushes. Okay. Yeah, no, I just had to say that. It's fine. Oh, that's what the topic is? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were just asking in general. Do you have any male celebrity crushes? Um, Guillermo Storga. Oh, God. Shut your mouth. <laughs> just fucking stop. That was gross. <laughs> yeah, no, there's a couple. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, I think, is definitely on the list. He should be on everyone's list. Yeah, I definitely think he should be on everyone's list. If he's not, then you have terrible taste. Mm, probably. The Renz, while he might be annoying for some people, he's a good-looking dude. Who the fuck are you talking about? Ryan Reynolds. The Renz? Yeah. Anyways, yeah. I don't think anyone's fucking calling that. The Rai Rai. Rai Rai Ren Renz. He definitely should be on top of your of your list on that one. You're we'll just s- making him more we'll unattractive. S- <laughs> okay, I guess unless you hear this podcast, and yeah, probably, but... Yeah, you're ruining it by your terrible else? nicknames. Oh, good. Because you fiddle. Um, if I were a rich man. I mean, I was definitely super into Nolan Arenado, Arenado for a minute. but You're such a liar, dude. He Well, he got traded. Now I'm not into him anymore. You, but... you had a crush on Nolan. Yeah, man. Because he's the best third baseman in MLB. Dude, that's some bullshit. He's doing terrible with the Cardinals, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, exactly. That's why he, when I just said he got traded, and then I'm like, eh. That's stupid. So He's now, not technically doing terrible. It's just the Cardinals aren't doing as well as he wanted them to do. So Who has a better record between us and them? Cardinals. They almost made the playoffs. I think they're almost 500. Cute. Um, I'll, I'll, you don't I'll, even watch baseball. Shut the fuck up. I'll throw some in there. Uh, Tom Hardy. Nah. I fuck with Tom Hardy. Mm, he seems like too much of a jock that I He seems can't. like a nice man. You know who? Actually, you know who? I think we could both agree. Steve Buscemi. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Dude, Steve Buscemi seems like a nice man. Yeah. I would hug Steve Buscemi until it's awkward. Which would be immediately. And then he would be like, okay, I can embrace this. And then we'll hug forever. That's how that would go. That's how nice of a man he you know, is. You know who's a fucking sex symbol for me? Who's that? Idris Elba. I get down on oh, that. Oh, man. I that get down man on is. That. That's a good looking dude. He's the reason why Suicide Squad, the Suicide Squad was actually decent. And by decent, I mean like eh. watchable. Yeah. yeah, that guy's. Oh man, if he's not the next Bond, mm, dude, fucking riot, dude, for sure. Luis from Ant Man, bro. Oh, fucking uh, Michael Pena. Michael Pena. I love Michael, Michael Pena. Michael Pena. He's not really. I don't know. He's not sexy, but he's like funny, and I appreciate Michael that. B. Jordan. Nah, pass. What? Hard pass. Not Michael Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, I would. I would rather have Michael Jordan than Michael. <laughs> Michael B. A. Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> but no, dude. All right. Jake Gyllenhaal. Who? Jake Gyllenhaal. Who? Really? Who? Oh. Uh, Mysterio. There you go. Who? Okay, I'll take that as a no. That's cool. You mean Donnie Darko? Oh, yeah. That guy. Yeah. Uh, no, going no, back. Uh, Spider-Man. Oh, that's Tobey Maguire. That's yeah, Tobey Maguire. <laughs> some Agarf. Toby Spaguire and S- Spy Drew Man. What? Just and shut up and S- what? make your Spider point. Spider Tom. I'm just naming the three Spider Men. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Go. Uh, not forget what I was saying because you interrupted me in my midstream of thought. I had someone you, tell me you damned that hard, dude. I have I have someone who told me that. Uh, oh, what the fuck's his name? James Bond, dude. Not Dan- Daniel. Not da- Daniel Craig. 
uh, Sean Connery. Sean Connery, like a young Sean Connery was good looking. I don't think so. I would go Sean Connery in uh, the basketball movie. What, what? Will he go Extraordinary Men? <laughs> no, that was actually his last movie he acted in. <laughs> I know, but that's why it's um, funny. It said what Link. the fuck was the... That was your chord, not mine. Oh. Uh, what was the last... What's that fucking... For Love and Basketball? I think so. Where, yeah. like, this young basketball player was, like, really good at basketball, but also into poetry, and then he found, like, this writer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. What about Hugh Jackman? I'd rather have Hugo Weaving, to be completely honest. Hugo Weaving is a uh, elf, right? Hugo Weaving, it's like Red Red Skull and yeah, the elf from Lord of the Rings, though. Oh, uh, yeah, you can't. There's there's a lot of elves. There's in Lord a of the lot Rings. of elves. There's also a movie called Elf, so that's my bad. Uh, yeah, it is your bad. It usually is, but Leo, it's fine. Leo's always a good heartthrob. DiCaprio, yeah. Fuck no. I thought it was a good, it's a good looking kid. Nah, man. After he man. made the Revenant and won an Academy Award for it, I'm like, dude, fuck off. That's like a pity award. That is a pity award. Such a pity award. Will Smith. Nah, pass. Owen Wilson. Pass. Nicholas Cage. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I love what you did you there. Know, that was good. You know that I have just a great affection towards Nicolas Cage. And I've seen... See, the reason why I really like Nicolas Cage, you can't name any other actor that gives 110% for every movie. For every single movie he's in, regardless of how good the movie is. Or how bad he's, he's at acting. He's not a bad actor. Sometimes he, just, he is. Some, he just acts what he's given. That's fair. That, <laughs> yeah, I'll give him that. So if he's given good material, he's a good actor. If he's given bad material, he's Nicholas Cage. Because so, so, so you're going to stick with stri- strictly just Ryan Reynolds as your as your like heartthrob. Yeah. Wow. I mean, how many do I have to have? Is there a limit? As many as, as many as possible, man. Like I love Hugh Jackman. I thought it was as many as I want. Hugh Jackman's a and I only want Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. That's why I moved the hat. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. He's a good looking dude. Fuck. Yeah, he is. Um, I mean, Miles Teller. No, thanks. Good. good Whiplash good. ruined that for me. Yeah. Wait, was Fantastic that Fantastic Four ruined that for me. I was getting Miles Teller and the other guy mixed up. McLovin? No. Is there any... I'll is remember. There, I'll remember it. Is there but, any actors out there that you, like, everyone thinks they're ugly and you're like, you know, he's not bad besides like Steve Buscemi? Not nah, just Steve Buscemi. <laughs> yeah, Steve Buscemi seems like the kind of guy who's like... What he lacks in looks, he makes up with just kindness. Just be up here. Dude's a fucking just, MVP, man. Yeah, dude, I love Steve Buscemi mm, so mm, much. Mm, 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 I know mine. Oh, I know fuck. mine. Okay, I, you just got me hard on that one. What the fuck? Paul Rudd. Oh man, that guy's that guy's a complete package, dude. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm not. If gonna I had to choose between Paul Rudd and Tom Hanks, it's Paul Rudd 100. percent No I'm matter not gonna what. Lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Ant Man ruined Paul Rudd. For really? Me. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Because it did the uh, the Chris Pratt effect. Where he got super fit and was like, you know, like that. And I'm just like, mm, see, I like but, out of shape, Rudd. See, but here's the thing about, like, here's like the thing about Paul Rudd is that Paul Rudd, that movie didn't ruin him. He, I just he said still it t- did. He'll still treat, no, he still tra- stayed like true to himself in the sense of like character. As compared to like Fat Pratt and Skinny Pratt, as soon as he became Skinny Pratt, he was just like Skinny Jonah Hill. When you're just like, you guys are just douches now. Like, I can't I, I don't can't think Jonah that. Hill's a douche. I Actually, just I've, think, always, I've always liked Jonah Hill, though. I just think Jonah Hill got made fun of a lot, and now he's not that just person anymore. Yeah. And he's just like, fuck you guys. I don't give a fuck anymore. Yeah, I made it. Yeah. yeah. Which I will say, like, Jonah Hill was kind of like... Oh, that's time. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I guess when we're talking about dudes, we're quick as fuck. Yep. Bah. Bah. Hank Hill. Yeah, uh, but no, anyway, to finish off with Jonah Hill, like... <laughs> to finish off Jonah Hill. Yeah, Go. to finish him off. Uh, he was always like, I think he was a really good actor and I think he definitely got to the point where people only knew him for being like that fat, funny guy. Fat Hill, yeah. And then they're just like, no, nah, I can do more than that. No, man, good for him. I actually love Jonah Hill. Like his, his, his aspect of just being like, you know what? Fuck you guys. Like, yeah. you don't like him because of this. I'm going to try to work on these other things. And if you don't like it, go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm. Like everyone can call him a douche, but. He's a douche because it's, it's he, the, you guys made him a douche. Exactly. And just like Chris Farley. Well, not the same our way. fans. Our fans are amazing. We never make no, fun of people. No, you guys are all fucking douches, too. No, you guys are amazing. Especially if you like Kansas City and baseball. Mark. He doesn't actually like Kansas City. <laughs> baseball team in general. Oh, oh fuck. He's not a fan well, of the Royals. I, I think just, Tommy likes the Royals, though. Yeah, he, you know what? He'll never be a Royal. Because we're Royals. Royals. Right, moving on. Round four. Hey, Chris, what's the next subject? How to properly frame a camera when you have disproportional body sizes. And Chris is right and G is wrong. No, but for real, what's the next subject? Oh, get out of jail free card. <laughs> I don't know what this means because I think you wrote it. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I think all of these are written, so you better fucking pick up your slack, bro. 
You don't pick all of mine. You don't you have any there. You literally pick zero of my topics. You pick two of mine. What are you talking about? No, I'm just saying on our master list, you're like, nope, that topic's dumb. I'm not talking about that. You want to talk about the topics you put in the hat? Yeah, Mexicans or not. Nah. No, is Beanie Baby a correct term for immigrant kids? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's just start this over. This. All right, Chris, what's the next subject? Uh, get out of jail free card. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> So pretty much what that means is... Uh, like if I murder somebody? If you, can, if you can do a crime, what would it be? Like if you can do a crime and get away with it, what would it be? We'll give you two because we got time. We got time. If I can do any crime and get away with it? Yeah. Let me start that timer. Hold on. Any crime at all? Yes. I'd probably jaywalk a couple times. That's it? Really? That's... I don't know, man. I have no interest in doing crime. I don't know. I don't have anybody I want to murder because I'm a genuinely like not psychotic person. I don't know about that. There's definitely some psycho in there for you. No, I'm a sociopath. Oh. There's a difference. No, mm. there's not. No, there's a huge difference. There's a good, there's a good evolution in that. Mm. 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 Fuck. Fucking Are you dying, bro? Dude. I am. I'm fine. Keep on going because I'm going to keep on I have, I, <laughs> Oh, So just jaywalking? I mean, no. I just don't have any like major crimes. Maybe I'll like smuggle drugs once to get like a million dollars and or just then, or maybe even just like have like a whole brick of cocaine and you can't get arrested for that yeah if i sold it i don't want to do a whole brick <laughs> that'd be a lot it's a lot of cocaine dude <laughs> like fuck you'd probably die from that actually yeah fingers um, crossed yeah there's not really i guess i'm not really a criminal kind of guy Yeah, there's not a lot of crimes i would do maybe like i think speeding would probably be one that'd be like one that we can all go get away with I mean, we get away with that all the time anyway. Oh, yeah, but I'm talking like... Oh, see, now I'm burpy. Going like 70 over the speed limit. Ugh, that's... I don't think your car can go that fast. <laughs> okay. I think we'll break before see, it gets to 50. Like, okay, maybe if like I did like a like a Grand Theft Auto and just like stole the car that I wanted and didn't have to pay for anything. Yeah, that's, that's a good then, yeah, way to be. Uh, yeah, I guess, but it's all like material shit that's like a one-time... I wouldn't even steal like a Lamborghini. i just steal like my same car, but like... <laughs> Maybe like a 2020 model. <laughs> I'm gonna steal a scooter and just yeah. I want actually. I want to have like a GTA moment where I get like five stars, but nothing happens to me afterwards. <laughs> That's what I would like. Is like driving through traffic and just like smashing everybody, just destroying there. property and like <laughs> yeah, having a bazooka and so, just like decimating empty buildings. And... So it's very homicidal of you. It really is. Yeah, I yeah, blame video games. Mar mar video game. Did you hear in China that they are banning video games? Yeah, where, dude, where that's kids wild. kids can only play them for like an, an hour, hour yeah, from like hour seven to day. eight. So I guess if we're going on that, if that happened, then I would definitely pick like playing video games yeah, that's for wild, longer dude. than an hour because that's fucking insane, dude. I that mean, is I, so fucking I, insane. I get the merit behind it, but I don't agree with it. Yeah, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. So stupid. But at the same time, they're making the 996 illegal, which is you work nine to nine, six days a week. In the, in the same swoop, because that's the standard working practice in China. That's it's awful. nine to nine, six days a week mm. with no overtime. Can we compliment China? Is that is that frowned upon? Or? Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. I feel weird. There's a, I would use that get out of jail free card to compliment China on it, like making the nine to, or the nine nine six illegal. You know what I think some people would be like <laughs> is like I want to <laughs> I want to insurrect the capital, not get in trouble. <laughs> Yo, fuck! <laughs> uh, you just opened a can of G's on that one, bud. Just a little bit. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I, I guess there's a, it's kind of stupid for me to put this on the on the hat because yeah, there's like a lot of things that I wouldn't do, just because I'm I'm too respectful. Yeah, like I have no reason that like, like if you asked me like ten years ago, I'd be like, oh, I'd kill this person, I'd kill this person, I'd kill this person. But now I'm just Actually, like, I don't care anymore. There's this is kind of this kind of out there. There there used to be this like old school like. Uh, thing you put on a boat, like you know, what, what are those called? Like the ones, you, like a uh, a tire or a donut, whatever you call it, like an inflatable. On a boat? Yeah. So you like put a, on, a tube? Like a tube. Yeah. So you like go tubing. They used to have like this one thing that used to like. He grew up poor. That's exactly what it is. That's not even a joke. That's the honest of God truth. There was one that like, if you get enough speed, it actually started lifting up and like sucking uh, up yeah, in the air. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's illegal <laughs> now. I would want to do that at least once. That's fair. That sounds amazing. I mean. <laughs> 
I see. And the thing is, like, I a hundred percent understand why that's illegal, and I do not disagree. <laughs> exactly, with it. you know, for sure. Same here. But I'm just like, that'd be really fun to do it once. They're fucking five year olds on that shit, <laughs> and be like on his on his fucking six fucking Natty Ultra or Natty Light, Natty Ultra. I mix two beers together because they're the same. They're the same fucking thing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. He'd be on his fucking six Natty, and just be like, "You're doing great," and then just fucking crank the throttle, and then his kids like. Ah. And then it flips upside down. You see little Timmy go. Bah. Bah. I did that wrong way. Bah. Oh. Bloop. Yeah. <laughs> Bloop. Yeah, that'd be that. Probably be my legal thing to do. Yeah, I mean, it's like like all the illegal shit I would do. It's like shit that I kind of do anyway. Or like <laughs> all the illegal shit. Jesus, let's name them. Let's name them out, Chris. Like, we have it on file. Like huh? you know, like theoretically, like if I'm talking about like you know buying fireworks. Oh yeah, I don't, I see, guess. like you know, it's like I understand, like oh, they don't want fireworks because you're going to start a fire in the forest. I'm like, what about jumping onto a bitch? Field? I live in the middle of not a forest. What about jumping into a baseball field to make the game actually exciting? Like a like a streaker? That's not a streaker. Well, like not a streaker, but like a streaker. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, fuck those guys. They interrupt the game. I mean, they make the if game they more exciting. It, if they get it in football, then hell yeah, let's do it. Yeah, because they get leveled. Yeah, dude, those are my favorite videos. Is seeing like these guys like running and just getting dude massacred by linebackers. So someone did that in a baseball game maybe like a month or two ago, and then the fucking you know the people who sit on the side that catch the ball. Yeah. Uh, one of the fucking like foul ball girls just straight up fucking nailed this dude. I'm just like, get him. I wonder if you can actually like charge him for assault. Uh, like, if you're the one that's running onto the yeah, pitch. Yeah. So it's because it's trespassing. Did you just call it it a pitch? Yeah. Fucking hipster alert, guys. No, hipster just, alert. It's a lot of soccer hipster lately. alert. Nope, you're going to have to insert hipster alert. We got alert. Cristiano. Hipster alert. We got alert. Cristiano. You didn't get shit. We got Manchester Cristiano. Manchester United got Cristiano. Glory, glory, Man United. Mm, feels good. Aren't you a Mexican? Yeah. Shouldn't you like Mexico? Dude, Mexican soccer sucks. Wow. So Fucking lost bad. his Mexi card, dude. It's definitely worse than baseball. That's how bad it is, dude. And that's me saying something, man. Mexico. Yeah. It's as bad as the MLS. Probably even worse because they actually lost to the MLS team like a week ago. Mm. Anyways, so yeah, so I would definitely invade the pitch. Get out of jail free card. I'd rob the Monforts of the Rockies. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, you would probably burn that team to the ground though. I probably would not. You probably would because I'd have all the Monforts money, but I'd actually spend the Monforts money. Cute. Yeah. Because it's not my money. Then you just sell the team afterwards. Yeah, man. Fuck it. With the condition of you can't change anything I just you, did to the you team. You can't sell it back to the Monfords. Yeah. Fuck. That'd be amazing. Yeah. So yeah, I take, I think, I'll take all the Monfords money so that I'd have like a net worth of like $3. $100 billion. And then I'd spend probably about $96 billion I feel like on the, the Rockies. I feel like the Rockies only have like $100 million to their name. Yeah. I think they're worth like. Three billion, which like sounds worth three billion, really? Yeah, which <sighs> sounds like a lot, but it's time. it's not a lot at all. That is time. Like, I, I think don't think they, they're worth that much, are they? Yeah, I fucking have to look it up. I can't because I'm my phone's not. F- you have a computer in front of your face. Well, we're gonna go to the next subject and we're gonna find out what that is. So, final round. All right, Gweep. What is that next subject? <laughs> How the fuck are the Rockies worth one point three five billion dollars? Yeah, dude, one point five three billion. Dude, that's and Kenny Steakhouse is not any better. I'm gonna have to talk about that. <laughs> Fuck them. Uh, what are they gonna do? Get mad at me for talking about them them being billionaires? Nobody, nobody that's involved with Kenny's listening to us. I mean, if they do, you're, spon- sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> sponsor us. <laughs> Whoops. All right, final subject for this wonderful event <clears throat> of a podcast. Mm-hmm. Dude, stop. Oh god, and Bruh. twins. What? Wow, look at that. Remember those commercials? I do. Just shut the fuck up and read the question. Isn't that crazy how you just like were are want like that commercial was implying that you wanted twins? Like they're That's sisters. That's so weird. Right? That is so fucking That's weird. That's what I'm saying. They're like Who do want sisters when you can have cousins? I mean, that's still weird, but not as weird. <laughs> that was a joke. I was joking. It's definitely Look, less weird. Look, if you're going to have a threesome, still, still it weird. should not be with anyone who's related. Yeah, unless it's a mother and daughter. Step. Stepdaughter. Step, yeah. Step, yeah, yeah. But stepdad again, joke again, joke. Step ladder, what do you do? <laughs> God damn it! The final, sorry. The final I'm subject. Sorry. Final is subject. Celebrity tendencies. These are all mine. What the fuck? I don't know, man. Oh. Like I said, you don't pick any of my subjects. So this is pretty much if you watch a movie or you like, you have like a specific like celebrity you enjoy. They do these little things. 
little little quirks. Like quirks that always that just that's just a part of them. Like how G goes into the microphone all the time and like, says, "I'm poor." <laughs> I think you say that way more than I do. Yeah, now I now do now because do. it's a meme. Yeah. I'm gonna make a meme. It's called meme. It's called memetics. Um, for example, like we've talked about um, these last actors, uh, Owen Wilson says, "Wow," for everything. Except for Loki, apparently. He says, how? Or how? Jeez, stop fucking burping, you nasty. Dude, I think I'm, I'm like officially a heartburn guy now. It's awful. Because <laughs> you're old. Yep. <laughs> I've only had heartburn for the last like seven years. Cute. But yeah, so like Owen Wilson has this wow thing that he always does that. Um, is there anything any else out there that you kind of remember? How Tom Cruise always runs always in every movie? Always fucking runs. I think it has something to do with him having the drive or the need to do all of his own stunts. But he's getting to that point where he can't do stunts. He's like, I'm just going to run. But he's done that for like his whole career. Yeah. Like, there's legit- what's, that, what's that movie where they're in like the robot suits? A, tomorrow? Oh, Day uh, Tomorrow? Tomorrow? No, Tomorrow War is the new one. It's fucking Groundhog Day with robots. Yeah, what is it called? Uh, or mech suits, I guess. They're not robots. But anyway. It's actually a really good movie too. He's like running in this suit, but because it's all like a practical prop it's like super heavy so they have to like wire him up to run and it just looks so fucking awkward i'm like you could just not you just not what is that one it. called i don't fuck remember man me. yeah so it he has, has uh, that. john krasinski's wife emily in it. blunt yeah 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 that's good actually i do like that movie but yeah he it's runs he runs in everything there's legit a fucking youtube it's video tomorrow something tomorrowland no I don't remember. Anyways. Day after tomorrow. No, that's the Jake Gyllenhaal. Which is today. That's the Jake Gyllenhaal movie. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying tomorrow movies now. Yeah, but it is something with tomorrow. Yeah. Anyways. uh, Yeah, there's like a YouTube video that has him like, like it gets updated every movie, I think. And it's like him running through all all his movies. It's literally like every fucking movie Mm -hmm. for sure. I'm just like, Jesus, dude, that's fucking wild. Um, Do like a Jackie Chan does all his own stunts. Like that's his thing. And now he's like fucking 70 and like. Like, you see him, like, at public appearances, and he's, like, walking like this. I'm just like, God damn it, dude. But honestly, I think for him it was, like, he's okay with that because he understood the the rest in the beginning. It's like the jackass guys. Mm. Like, yeah. I don't think they're that broken, though. I mean, Johnny Knoxville's had, like, seven concussions. He's, like, one away from being, fuck. Well, he's still young (laughs) to get concussions. I guess. Anyways, (laughs) um, Harrison Ford, he does the finger pointing. Okay. He's always like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do the finger point yeah. a lot, but it's always at people, not like at like the camera. He's like, "You stop that! You do this! You do that!" It's always that's yeah, always he the, finger, the finger waggle. Um, oh, who's the other one that I was thinking of? Uh, was that uh, Keanu Reeves? Instead of it's like the whoa. almost Owen Wilson. The whoa, whoa, whoa! He doesn't do that as often now, but yeah, his I earlier stuff. Stopped. I think he stopped doing that. that. Matrix laugh. He was just like, whoa. <laughs> also, <laughs> it's like the head tilt, whoa, like bringing it back. Matrix Four is coming out. I don't know how I feel about that. I hope he does Matrix, at least one. Whoa, Matrix One came out in 1999. Someone told me that that movie is wow. actually like a metaphor for transgender. Uh, no individuals. So whoever told you that is just like repeating shit they've heard, but that's not what that movie's about. That's just underlying theme, like the whole character Switch. Yeah, that was the whole concept of Switch. Gotcha. But that's not what the movie's about. The no, movie. yeah, no, yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> unless you just said it wrong, probably because you were poor. I mean, I watched The Matrix like a year or two after it came out. <laughs> a year or two. Yeah, because it was available on Blockbuster. You know, after that. I mean, it's available uh, on Blockbuster almost. My favorite. It's not my favorite by works, far that everyone forgets fine. about is that Brad Pitt eats in every one of his movies. Yeah. He always fucking eats something, dude. It's kind of annoying, but it's also kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, if you're that shredded, that means you just have to have more calories. You know. I guess. But it's always like chips or something stupid like that. Chips or pizza, I think. But yeah, I look at I see me eating like apples a lot. Um, in movies? Yeah. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Robert Downey Jr. actually does the same thing too. He likes to eat in his movies. Does he? he I think he eats like at least in all of them. Except I think for you're just talking about the Iron Man's. Yeah, I actually think you might be right. Iron Man's an Avenger. Like, like phase one of that. You know why he ate a, a specifically ate a Burger King cheeseburger in the Iron Man movie? Mm-mm. Was because it was to symbolize him at his lowest point his entire life is he went on like a fucking three day bender or something. And then he came down off of it and went to Burger King to eat. And he's like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? So that was a direct reflection on Iron Man when he was trapped in the desert, made it all the way back. He felt like he was at the lowest point in his life. So he paid homage to himself by eating a Burger King. Where did that come from? 
The first part. Is that like in the comics? No, no. That's literally Robert Downey Jr.'s real life. Oh. It has nothing to do with Iron Man. It was just gotcha. literally okay. Robert Downey very, Jr. I was very you don't confused. Listen, you don't listen. I said Robert Downey Jr., not oh. Tony Stark. But Sorry. That's Unfortunately, when it comes to Robert Downey, when you say that, I just think of Tony Stark. Like that's... He was also in Boston Public on Fox between 2000 and 2003 and he then was... got arrested for drugs. He was also on SNL. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Meh. For a season. Yeah. And he wasn't great. SNL hasn't been funny ever. I don't think. How dare you? I love SNL. Dude, the problem with SNL is like, it was like, SNL hasn't been funny since the 90s. Bro, it was barely funny in the 90s. Uh, who, who were we talking about earlier? You're like, he plays the same character. Oh, uh, Jason Segel? Yeah, Jason Segel. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. Jason Sudeikis. Sudeikis. Yeah, I was like, Jason Segel doesn't sound right. That's He also plays the same character in every movie. He is like not around anymore, which is super crazy. Um... Paul Rudd, I think Paul Rudd he has... He made How I Met Your Mother money. In Paul, Rudd, Paul Rudd has it that, like, when he's improvising, you can tell he's improvising because he does, like, that... Uh, uh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has that... that it's like that, that, uh, that, 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 that rat. Like, he does, like, that, like, he's thinking and he yeah, just, yeah. like, lets it out. You can kind of tell, too, because his eye line shifts. So he like, be looking at someone and then he start, like, gazing off because he's thinking of somebody and then he says it and snaps back. I don't know. That might just be a me thing that I noticed. Ryan but. Reynolds plays the same character, I feel like, in every movie. Yeah, he doesn't even play a character anymore. He just plays himself. So that, yeah. that's, that's his tennis thing, just being Ryan Reynolds. Which. I don't uh, blame him. I mean, it works. Uh, yeah. It works, It's baby. so good. It's so fucking That guy's actually pretty funny for being a handsome, sexy man. Why is he married to Blake Lively? The Rock always flexes in his movies. Always. It always reminds me of that meme uh, from fucking. Um, John Cena's never. No, The Predator. Yeah. Where. Stallone and uh, what's his name? Like a fucking. Oh yeah, the yeah the. Oh, oh fuck, that meme. Is it Apollo Creed? Yeah, but I remember the actor's name. Uh, the guy from Mandalorian. Yeah, I forget his name yes. too. Uh, but yeah, who were we, who were we talking about before this? Uh, oh, The Rock. Yeah, yeah, The Rock. The Rock is always flexing in his movies. The stupidest one is still the the Fast and the Furious one. Where he's like, breaks his cast. He's like, Daddy's got to go to work. I'm like, God yeah, damn it, dumb. you fuck. Yeah, Stupid. I don't know. Uh, Kevin Hart in all of his movies. Oh, that's time. Uh, that's but time. but Kevin Hart in all of his movies always acts bad. Yeah, that's fair. Like, yeah, he sucks. I don't know why people love Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, I think you're hilarious as a comedian, but used to be. I don't think you're funny anymore. Yeah, I think Hot take. Okay. Hot wow. take on that one. And just in case Kevin Hart sponsors us, then you're fucking amazing, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that was the episode, you guys. Thank you guys again for tuning in to another episode of Best of Five. We hope you guys are enjoying these. Shit, you better be after 42 of these motherfuckers. But uh, make sure you guys follow us Let on... us know how I'm getting better and G's only getting worse. Staying the fucking same. I'm fucking Little Bear. Um, that was like almost the Days and Confused quote, but less creepy. Which one? But still creepy. Oh, uh, the yeah. Just go doing <laughs> Stay that. Stay the same. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that creepy. Oh, I guess McConaughey is always playing a sex symbol in yeah, those Yeah, McConaughey is always McConaughey. Although in Interstellar, he was fucking great. He wasn't playing The Dallas Buyers Club. Oh, oh, my God. I'm going to put McConaughey on that hot list, too, for yeah. sure. All right. Yeah, okay. I'll put that on there. Mateo is fucking... Remember when he got in trouble for playing bongos naked while smoking a joint in his own living room? He just did it with the windows open? It's like, mind your business. Keep your eyes out of my window, motherfucker. He ain't wrong, dude. Yeah. All right. So, anyways... <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Anyway, moving so on. Make sure you guys follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcast. Uh, what else do we have? Amazon... Google, I think they have it as well. iHeart. iHeart as well. So make sure you guys follow us. And if you guys can like or comment or uh, review us, make sure you do that as well because it does help us out. And as always, if you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, tell your friends, tell your wives, tell your husbands, tell your partners, tell your... Shout out to Lizzie, by the way, for the funny fucking comment on that one. Oh, yeah. Own, Owen Lee fans. Owen Lee That's fans. what I was like trying to get to, and then G ruined the joke, so... Well, then she put the ka at the very end. Oh, yeah. She that... ka-chowed it. She ka-chowed it. She ka it. But thank you guys again for tuning in. You guys have a good night. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Have a good life. We'll see you next time here on... Best of Friends. Five. Fuck. Five. See, the one time I didn't do it. I know. I'm the sorry. The one time I didn't do it. Later, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa!